Hello, Bob from Shocker Hitch. One of the questions we get asked quite often is, how much drop do I need? And how do I figure out the drop? Well, actually, it's quite easy. Something that uh, I think more people need to talk about anyway. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the back of your pickup and measure the top of the receiver tube. In this case, it's 20 inches. So if we want to look at how much drop we've got, let's go back over to the ball. Okay, right here, this is the base of the ball, the flat part of your hitch. In this case, it's 18 inches. So we've got two inches of drop right now. So how much am I going to need? Let's go over to the trailer. Measure from the ground to the coupler. Okay, right now I've got 17 inches. But I know that the shank or the shoulder of the ball is one inch. Okay, so I've got 16 inches. I need another two inches of drop here in order to make that trailer toe level. One thing to consider, the back of your truck is going to come down. When you weight that with the tongue weight of your trailer, it's probably going to drop a couple inches. That's where a product like the Shocker Hitch that's got an adjustable ball height comes in real handy. So we're going to hook up our trailer and look at the back of the truck. We're going to make sure that the trailer is still level. And if it isn't, we can raise it up an inch or drop it an inch, whatever it's going to take to make it level. So for the guy that's towing, let's say you've got a Dodge pickup, so it's real high. Now you need an additional drop, there it is. Maybe you've got an older Chevrolet and it sits kind of low. Raise mount, there it is. So for more information, join us at shockerhitch.com.